Project Home, continuing Monday at 11 on KPIX 5. This is Toyota Fifth Quarter. Welcome, everybody, to the Oakland Coliseum for the fifth quarter of the final game ever played at the Oakland Coliseum. Alongside the great uh, two-time Super Bowl champion Jim Plunkett and Lorenzo Neal, Channel 5 football audience. And, Alex, before we talk to the gentlemen, pan out to the crowd. They're still... Uh, <laughs> They're still here. They don't want to leave, uh, despite a very disappointing finish here at the Coliseum where the Raiders were shut out in the second half. And, Jim, uh, first of all, before the game, it was so festive, so many great names. Yourself, Jim Brown, Marcus Allen, Jim Otto was here. Uh, but then the Raiders don't score in the second half and lose. Uh, describe your reaction. Oh, it's very disappointing to end the the season here at the Coliseum forever on that losing note, uh, especially where they played in the second half. Uh, they were in control of the whole game for the most part, and all of a sudden things turned bad, and unfortunately they came away with a, a loss. And, you know, I feel bad for the fans of, you know, the Raiders here in Oakland. Uh, they've been loyal. They've been great, uh, energetic, uh, you name it. They're a great bunch of fans, and it's too bad we had to disappoint them in that fashion. Yeah, it's not entirely surprising, is it, Low? The Raider, the way the Raiders season has unfolded. Yeah, it really is, and it, it kind of echo what Jim is saying. And just in the second half, for the second week in a row, your lack of scoring, lack of able to get in the end zone, not even a field goal. Jim, with this season coming to an end, and you watch the disappointing on these guys, what can they take away from this moment, a place where they'll never play in this stadium again? What can they most take away, the players and the coaches from here? Well, you know, you know, obviously they put their best effort out. You know, it wasn't good enough. It hasn't been good enough in the last four weeks in particular when they've lost four straight. Uh, and the second half has been, the, you know, really the tell of what happened to this football team. Uh, other teams make adjustments. The Raiders, for some reason, have not. Uh, and they're playing the second half of the poor. But, you know, they, they tried their best. I, I'm sure of that. And they just have to look forward to the next two weeks and then the upcoming seasons. Unfortunately, it won't be here in Oakland. Jim, you won a Super Bowl here in Oakland with the Raiders and with the Los Angeles Raiders. So you can relate to the crowd in L.A., their crowd in Oakland, and maybe anticipate what they can ex expect in Vegas. First question, can they duplicate this crowd in Las Vegas. Well, I guarantee you, a lot of this crowd is going to be in Vegas, number one. Uh, number two, you know, this is a fantastic crowd. The get-ups, the clothing they use uh, for the games. I mean, this is an extraordinary fan base here in Oakland, and you won't find this anywhere else in the league. There's no doubt about that. Uh, L.A. was a little bit more subdued. They showed up after the middle of the first quarter, left in the middle of the fourth quarter. You know, they had other things to do in L.A., obviously. Uh, Vegas will be a whole other story. We have a big fan base out of California going down to Vegas. We have a big fan base out of L.A. and, and the Bay Area. Uh, and then there will be fans there in the, in the uh, greater Las Vegas area. I don't think it's going to change a whole lot. I mean, the decorum is going to be nicer and newer and fresher. But the fans, I think, are, are Raider fans through and through. Yeah, you, you know, go ahead, Lowe. Yeah, Jim, what, what makes these Raider fans in this Coliseum and just this community, what makes it so unique? I, we travel, we've been a lot of places. Both of you and I have played a lot of places. But what is it about this mystique yeah. that these fans are just, you see it here? Yeah. Well, you know, the, the mystique was created years ago. And they had some characters in Matusak, uh, Ted Henricks, yeah. the Snake, uh, Lester Hay. I mean, you know, these guys have seen a lot of unique individuals on this football field in the past. I don't think you can duplicate this crowd anywhere in the country. Uh, you know, it's, it's a cult following. They're tremendous. You see some of the people, you know, this is a blue-collar town, and most of them are blue-collar who come to this game, but they're also doctors and lawyers, yeah. and they're dressed up in their get-ups. They're having a great time, and they're rooting the Raiders on. Yeah. You know, I was telling Jim before the game, one of my great memories with Jim Pollock at he was a Channel 5 football analyst back in the tuck rule game. And it's snowing. We're in New England. He and I are getting ready to go on for the postgame show. And the game went so long because of the tuck rule, they canceled our postgame show and one of the most important postgame shows we would have done given the situation. Remember that? Uh, without question, you were all ready because we thought the, uh, the Raiders had won the game. There was no way that New England was coming back. And then the tuck rule... 
the eventual field goal to win the game should have never happened, yeah, right, right. but it did. Well, it, yeah. well, Jim, I know right now the Raider fans want to know, you and, you guys have been able to tell what your side of the story. What would you have to say? Oh, man, what would you guys want to say? We want to hear it now. We got robbed. Uh, and, and we didn't see it, you know, yeah, right, right. unfortunately. Yeah. So, uh, Jim, as we say goodbye, your favorite memory of the Oakland Coliseum. Uh, there's been so many. I play with a lot of great players, and some of them I've already mentioned. Uh, but I had a great time here. They welcomed me with open arms. Five years in New England, struggling. Two in San Francisco. A tough time, and here I found a home. They they brought me in. They, they helped me with uh, uh, being comfortable here in this situation. But I would have to say my, you know, my very first playoff game here in the Coliseum after 10 years of not yeah. ever being in a playoff game or even in the playoffs period, as I said, uh, uh, and beating the Oilers and Kenny Stabler and that group. Uh, and I'm very proud of that that moment. You know, I was a longtime 49er fan. I grew up in San Francisco. But when the 49ers let Jim Plunkett go and he came to the Raiders, I immediately, uh, my allegiance went to the Raiders. I've told you that before. Sure. <laughs> sure you did. <laughs> so Jim knows, see, Jim's a San Juan King. You know, he's a Valley guy from the Central Valley. Right, so, right. you know, I always no, love I'm San Jose. No, I'm trying, no, we're trying to claim you down there. Oh, we're, always, yeah. we're always trying to claim you down there. Yeah, yeah, Joe Flores yeah, yeah, tried to joke, man. Yeah, but, but you know, you just look at this team and, and, and what it's been going through and the fans. What makes them stick? You see a lot of fair weather fans, teams that, you know, they lose, they're down. But these fans, I mean, you see guys jumping on the field now, still coming. What are these fans, yeah. they're, they're, they're just not fair weather. What makes them so unique in your in your opinion? Like I said, this is a blue collar base, yeah. you know, and they, and they love their Raiders. As I said, we've had some great characters and great players over these many years with three Super Bowl wins. And, you know, they, they never forget that. And, uh, you know, you know, they're, they're, they're a little ticked off after the, the outcome of today's game, but they'll be back in full force next year wherever we're playing. I can tell you, during this interview, we've seen several people uh, taken away in handcuffs, people trying to get on the field and uh, get a piece of the turf as a sort of memento uh, and an unfortunate situation at the end of the game. But for the most part... Uh, people have remained classy in the stands, you know. Just so you know, they would have done the same thing if we had won. <laughs> They'd be taking part of this, this stadium home with them. Uh, but no, they're a great group of fans. I, fans, I cannot say enough about this group. Uh, you got a party to go to with your beautiful wife. We appreciate you taking the time. Sure. Always a class act. And uh, we'll see you in Las Vegas, Jim Plunkett. You bet. I'll be there. All right, man. Thank All right. You. Thank you, guys. You're the best, Jim. Thank, Thank you. you. That's uh, two-time Super Bowl champ, Jim Plunkett. Pluck it, and uh, we're going to take a commercial break here on uh, game day in the fifth quarter. Vern Glenn has run into the locker room. He'll have a reaction, but again, the Raiders uh, stunningly lose to Jacksonville 20 to 16, getting shut out in the second half. We'll take a commercial break and be back with more from the Coliseum in just a moment. He's throwing deep for Belitnik up behind Clark, and he's got it. 